One of the most common questions I get is, what tools do you carry on the motorcycle when you take a road trip? Well, let's talk about it. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today we're going to talk about what tools I carry on my motorcycle when I take a road trip. Now, a lot of these tools I also carry just in everyday riding, so I'll cover some of that as well. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into this, but before I do, I want to remind you if this is your first time here, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below, and don't forget to click that bell icon to let YouTube know you want to get notifications of my new videos. You know, if you like motor vlogs and how-to tips and tricks, and accessory review videos, motorcycle review videos, I think you're going to like uh, being part of this community. And don't forget, I also have two Facebook groups. If you're a Honda Goldwing rider, you're going to want to know about that. But today we're just going to talk about general motorcycle to tools I carry. Doesn't matter what kind of motorcycle you ride. And in fact, you're always welcome at this channel, no matter what kind of motorcycle you ride. We just love motorcycles, period. So anyway, Let's talk about what tools I carry. Now, I've got this little bag, and I cannot tell you where I got the bag. I don't remember. It came with something. But it's been a pretty handy little bag. It's just a little vinyl bag. It's probably 10 inches by, I don't know, maybe 4 inches by 4 or 5 inches tall. But it, it really works great for holding random tools. And I'm going to show you what's in that here in just a second. The first thing I'm going to show you is a product that I reviewed not too long ago, and it's I've just carried it on the bike ever since. And that is the Jump Starter from Skosh. Uh, I keep this on the bike in my left saddlebag. Doesn't matter where you keep it, obviously. And it just I just have the peace of mind knowing that if my battery ever dies, I'll have a way to jump start the bike and get to the next location. Now, probably the two most common things that would happen to you on a road trip would be uh, either a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, maybe you stop for gas or you stop for lunch. You go out, try to start the bike, and it just won't start. So I carry this for that reason. And I just recently started carrying it, but I'll tell you what, now I, I, I can't believe I ever rode without one. Put that off to the side. Now the other thing I have is this little bag of tools, and I'll open it up and show you what's inside. Okay, first, I use rope plugs if I ever do have a flat tire. Now you can buy these at Walmart, you can get them Amazon, you can get them anywhere. And I carry some of these rope plugs with me, along with a reamer tool, and then this is the little tool you punch the plug in and pull it out. I'm thinking about doing a video on how to plug a hole in a tire. I'm sure there's a lot of them already out there on YouTube, but if you're interested in knowing how to do that, if you've never seen it done, let me know in the comments down below, and maybe I can put together a video to show you how I do it. I also have a little tube of contact, or actually this is rubber cement, and using that with the rope plug just to make sure it gets a good, firm seal. So I carry a JIS screwdriver with me, just in case I need to undo some of the Phillips head or JIS head screws. I carry a pair of pliers. You just have to have a pair of pliers. And I also carry a set of needle nose pliers. Now, I don't know. You just never know when you're going to need something like that. On top of that, I have a small little miniature flathead screwdriver. I actually have one of these little miniature JIS screwdrivers, too. And I think that's the one I used to have in here. I don't know how this bigger one got in here. Um, let's see, I've got some of this silicone tape. Uh, this would be used if you ever needed any electrical tape uh, to, to seal up a, an electrical connection, or just maybe you need to tie something up to hold it together. I could use this for that. I like the silicone tape better than electrical tape, just because it's not as messy. But electrical tape would be fine. Now, I also have a box cutter, like a utility knife. Just never know when you'll need it. And then I have a variety of sockets. I have like a 6 millimeter, a 5 millimeter, and a 4 millimeter socket. I do have a ratchet and 
an extender, a small extender, just a three inch extender. I have an eight millimeter, nine, 10. So I've got several different sockets all the way up to 14 millimeter, even though I can't even think of where a 14 millimeter is used on the Goldwing. But I actually, I may actually go up to 17. I do, I have a 17 millimeter socket. So this is what I carry socket wise. And I just have them sitting down in the bag. I don't have them organized. I could put them in one of those little trays. I just haven't done it. And <clears throat> I just kind of throw this stuff in here. It's not like it's real organized. And I also bought one of these recently from Klein Tools. I got this on Amazon, and I was looking for a better Allen key uh, type of wrench. And this is the nicest one I found. If you're interested in one of these, I like it because it's really compact and it's made from stainless steel. It's a really nice, well-made uh, Allen wrench set. And I think it goes all the way to six millimeter. So I have, you know, if you need to take off the seat, you've got the six millimeter, the five millimeter, which is the most common Allen you'll need on the Goldwing. And then it goes four, three, two, and it goes on down to smaller sizes I probably never use. But it's a really great set. I love it because it's so compact. It'll go anywhere. You can slip it in your pocket but I just leave it in here. So those are the tools in my toolkit. Now there's also a little top, a little zipper here on top, and inside that I have a few drill bits. I'm not going to pull them all out and show you. I have various sizes of drill bits. And you wonder, what do I use drill bits for? Okay, I'll tell you. Because over here, let me move all this stuff away. I also carry on a road trip. Now, I don't do this when I'm around town. I do carry this bag around town. I do carry the, the uh, jump starter around town. But when I'm on a road trip, I always carry this little Bosch drill. Have you ever had a flat tire, been on the side of the road, and tried to fix a flat with a plugging tool using this little hand reamer? I tried it one time and it will damn near kill you. First of all, you're laying on the ground, you're on your side, you don't have great leverage, you're trying to get this thing, you're at a weird angle. It's really hard to get any pressure on this reamer to get it to work. Sometimes you'll get it in, you can't get it back out. I mean, it's just a pain in the ass. So what I use instead is I drill out that hole in the tire using a drill. You get a nice, clean hole, perfect, and then it's very easy to plug a tire. You'll plug a tire in a third of the time if you have one of these little drills. Now this is a, it's a rechargeable uh, battery drill. The little battery comes out here. It's made by Bosch. It's one of the best tools I've ever bought. I use it all the time. It is a great piece of equipment. It's, I've probably had this thing 12 years and it's just super, super reliable. It has variable uh, speeds, variable pre you know torque pressures, uh, and, and it's just it's just excellent. I I'll put it in a link in the description if you're interested in one of these. If you buy one of these little AA battery operated drills, it probably is not going to be strong enough to go through the uh, <clears throat> you know the steel bands in the tire, and so you're going to have to have a pretty powerful drill. And I've used this drill, and it does work. It will get that hole into that tire because you got steel belts in there and all kinds of stuff. So uh, once you do that, you, then you simply put the plug in and it works great. So I carry this with me on road trips. Now, if I'm on a long road trip, multi-day trip, and I'm pulling the trailer, uh, I carry a lot of this stuff in the trailer. That frees up the saddlebags for other things. But you'll be surprised how little space all of this takes up in my left saddlebag. I still have room to put a jacket liner, uh, some extra set of gloves, some other things in there. So um, it doesn't take up the whole saddlebag. And then I have the right saddlebag to use for other things. That's the tools that I carry with me when I go on a road trip. Now let me know what I don't have here that you carry and why you carry it and put that in the description down below or in the comments down below and i hope this has been helpful i'm going to be taking a road trip in the next few days and i will have all this stuff with me and i will be motor vlogging from the road now by the way a lot of you asked me about this shirt if you're interested in one of these shirts um, you can find it in the uh, link in the description down below through my merchandise site so anyway, thanks again for joining me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
Uh, it really does help with our YouTube rankings and helps uh, them distribute the video to, video to more people. Thanks again for watching today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.